everyone. Welcome back to Nairobi Luxury Homes. I am Angelina and today I'll be taking you through a tour of these gorgeous townhouses in Spring Valley. The description and the specs of the house are as listed on the screen. So you're definitely once more getting a lot of value for your money, especially in this market. Um, without further ado, let's start the tour. So we have a development of five townhouses that are set off of Lower Kabete Road. So the development is in a nice quiet road. And then the first thing that you, you'll notice once you get in through the gate is this beautiful water feature here that adds to the ambience of the whole place. Since it's all peaceful and quiet, there's the sound of it really stands out and it's able to create, like I said, a nice beautiful ambience. So when you come down this way, we have this motor court. Um, that is, can be used as extra parking for your vehicles in case you have visitors. And then a little bit further down, we have the compound for this particular townhouse that is in the corner of <laughs> the development. So not, of the, not all of them will have that, but there's definitely a bit of compound for each house. Then as you come down this way, you'll be able to see that on top of this extra parking that we have here, each townhouse has its own basement parking, which is where I'll take you guys next. So this is the basement parking for each unit. Each unit has this four, uh, well, the space is good enough for four cars. Maybe you can fit in another small one. So this space on top of the space that we have outside, absolutely ample parking for you and your visitors. And then as you come this way, you'll see that each house has its own private elevator, you guys, how cool is that? Every house has its own private elevator and for that at that price point, that's definitely a good deal. Um, so we have the elevator here and then as we come down this way, we have two DSQs and their bathroom. And then there's also a bit of a sink uh, situation with a bit of drawers here. So I won't be able to show you guys that unfortunately because this is being used as storage at the time because they're still finishing up with the construction. In case you have some dirty work that you need done, this space is actually ideal for that. So that's basically it for the parking. Now let's go up to the first level of the house. So this is a beautiful entrance that we have to each townhouse here. We have the, the wooden flooring on the staircase. Then we have the steel railing. And a gorgeous detail I like about this whole development is that the first level of each house is covered in mazeras. So the whole place when it's when it's really sunny and the sun is just coming through you know the way Mazeras has a bit of a shine and a glimmer to it so that's cute in my opinion I really like that little detail so as we come up we go into the entrance of the house and you're met by this big steel door that acts as extra security before you're able to come into the main door of the house we have this massive wooden door with a bit of a glass inlay and the peep hole for you to be able to see who's outside before you open the door. And then you come into this gorgeous living room. This living room is so stunning. I really like the marble detail on the floor. These are not your everyday ordinary marbles that you guys maybe have seen around. There's definitely something special to them. They have a bit of a gloss, but they feel non-slip. And then the other detail that we have in the living room is the snake lights up above. And then we have this gorgeous chandelier in the middle. And we also have the down lights going all around the living room. Another thing I wanted to point out about this living room is that the windows here are double glazed and they're soundproof. And then on top of that, they went ahead and made them tinted. So you don't really have to worry about um, visibility into your living room. Uh, from people that are outside and then as we come this way we have this very special detail the developer went ahead and added these bits of <laughs> like I don't know what to, what to call them shelves drawers they added this detail that is used to cover up your wiring and all the cabling going on around the TV so this would be um, just something extra that they added we can open it up just to show you guys. There you go. Just a little bit of sockets and all those details. And those things normally make your house look not so put together. So, ooh, sorry. 
So here that is taken care of and then as we go this way we have this door and I'm really eager to show you guys what's behind this door but first let's go into the dining room. How dare I forget before we go to the dining room we have the most amazing feature of this house which is your own private home theater behind this beautiful glass door that's frosted. You guys, how special is this? You don't see this in townhouses every day, at least not in Nairobi. So we have this very generous home theater here. We have plenty of socket space down here on the sides, I guess for your electric recliners. And then we have the projector at the top. And then on this end, we have the part that would be projected on. And then here we have these shades that they've added. You'll notice them inside here and in the kitchen. So they, it's just a detail, you know, like I said, the extra details that they add to your house that will make it ready for you to move in and you, little things like this that you don't really have to think about or worry about. And we'll see a lot of that throughout this house. So now let's go into the dining. So right off of the living room, we have the home theater towards this side of the house. And then we have the um, beautiful mahogany staircase that we'll get to as you're going upstairs. So this here is the dining room to this gorgeous townhouse. We have so many details here that I'd like for us to get into. The first of those details being the fact that the whole uh, living room and dining room floor is in one, is one. <laughs> this is the same finish all through that beautiful brown marble tiling that I'm, I mean at this point I'm basically obsessed with it. Uh, so we have that the first detail that I wanted to point out and then here we have this beautiful detail at the top we have a wood a, like I want to call it inlay so we have a bit of a wood inlay going on in the ceiling and then we have the beautiful drop uh, chandelier we have the drop lights also all around the space which makes it all bright and airy we have some space underneath the stairs there that you can use for storage maybe for your kids bicycles although you have a basement for that so you actually don't really need that space, but it's always good to have extra space just in case. And then I also wanted to point out that we have plenty of sockets here, which allow you to play around with lighting. Like you can have a console there, add a little bit of maybe like an, a piece of artwork at the top. And since the sockets are ready, you can play around with light and make it just a beautiful dining area. The sitting here is enough for eight seats comfortably maybe even more if you want to push it a bit but definitely eight and yeah so right off of the bathroom i mean of the dining room we have this beautiful powder room on this end they have gone with a black and white theme which is really chic and gorgeous so we have the mosaic detailing behind the wash closet at the top we have the awning windows and also i like that they clad the whole bathroom in a bit like a gray black and white marble and then on this side of the sink area we have the pebble sink all the black and white details the huge mirror it's really really gorgeous and chic and i also like the fact that this door is a little bit um, translucent in that it has a glass inlay inside of the mahogany wood pieces definitely one of the chicest powder rooms I've seen for the guests and on the ground level. And now you guys, let's go to my favorite part of the house, which I literally could not wait to get to, which is the kitchen. So again, this is my favorite part of the house and for reasons that I'll be able to point out as we go along, the first and most important one being that this developer gives you a free fridge. How cool is that? So nice. I also really like the details of the kitchen in terms of, first of all, the cabinetry. We have this glossy finish with a wood tone and then he also added these uh, fittings, so the kitchen comes fitted with a microwave, an oven, a cooker, and a hood. And these are all Bosch appliances, so he definitely um, went all out. And then I also really like this detail that he added at the bottom of all the cabinetry. We have this stainless steel skirting that matches 
the, the stainless steel finishes on the appliances, which is definitely just, you know, it brings everything together. And then we also have the contrast between the brown and the white finishes in the kitchen, makes it just look nice and chic. Definitely adds to the whole wooden vibe that we have with the doors and all the scutting throughout the house. And then we have this big window on this side. We have a double sink there with a nice stainless steel faucet with a bit of a matte finish. So one of the things I really love about this kitchen, just something that adds to it being my favorite part of this house, is this amazing feature that we have in the middle of the kitchen. We have this translucent glass and behind it they've added some, like a bulb or maybe an LED strip light that makes it seem like um, that sun, like sunlight is flowing right into your kitchen at whatever time of the day. So it looks like a skylight, but it's really not. That is so special to me. And then we have the same, I mean, we have some downlights, the same downlights we've been seeing all through the house, uh, right beside the skylight feature. I really think this is so thoughtful and beautiful. Just an extra touch that the developer did not have to do, but he went ahead and added that. And then as we come to this side of the kitchen, we'll go into the pantry. So this side of the kitchen, we have the pantry, really nice wooden cabinets that they've added there. A bit of a contrast again with the white, makes it look chic. Everything in this house is just definitely um, finished to perfection. And then across from it, we have the elevator on this side. And then a little special detail that I think they thought through is this door. So imagine if you have guests and there's all this cooking going on, you just shut them out, let them enjoy their time in the living room. And you, maybe like your help or someone who is busy working from the dirty kitchen downstairs, they can just be moving up and down through the elevator, bringing your shopping up without really interfering with the situation in the sitting room with the guests and everything. That's a nice detail that they added there. So now, since um, I think that's it for the kitchen, let's go into the second kitchen this house has two kitchens so one is a dirty kitchen where you can do the background stuff like the cleaning the dirty work without necessarily bringing that into this other kitchen so let's go see that one this is the second kitchen of this house and it's also really big especially this is enough to be at someone's kitchen somewhere um, we have the same wash appliances so we have this time we have a four burner cooker we have the oven at the bottom and we have the extractor up top we have all this cabinetry um, on the top as well as at the bottom of the worktop area here and then on this end we have the granite finishes that look really nice against the white tile backsplash on this side we have sliding windows plenty of them because this kitchen also doubles up as your laundry area so this is where all the cleaning will be going on Towards the end of this area, we have uh, these sockets here that you will be using for your washers and your dryers. And then we have a tap on that corner. And then aside from that, like just more extra things that they've added for you in this house. We have the sink over here, again with cabinetry at the bottom of it. I really like the marble tiling that they've used in the kitchen, by the way, I did not point, out, point that out. We have this marble tiling that's obviously a bit textured to prevent it from being slippery and then we have plenty of sockets as you guys will be able to notice as we go all around this house and then on this end of the laundry area in the kitchen and the dobby area the dirty kitchen whatever you want to call it we have this massive door that leads outside so this is also the exit towards the back your backyard space and it also leads directly into the basement parking so if you don't want to uh, use the access at the front of the house. You can just come this way, go downstairs, get in your car and leave if you have to. Um, and we have the same Mazeras finishes on the outside, on the back side of this house that I told you are covering the whole first level of every single townhouse in this development. So that does it for the first level of this house. Now let me take you to the second level of the house where we have two ensuite bedrooms and a spacious family room. So we've just made our way up this beautiful mahogany stairs with a glass railing and the stainless steel rods. Really chic looking, especially against the dark hardwood and the white of the house. The contrast is really beautiful, you guys. You have to see this to believe it because it's really 
um, something. There's a lot of detail that they put into the finishes of this house. And the first thing you get to meet when you come to this level is your TV room. So we have all the sockets on this end and the cabling for your internet. And then we have the large windows. We have the same LED strip lights up top and the down lights. On this side, we have some shelves and extra cabinet space and also a bit of a worktop area in case you have, because you can use this as a bit of a kitchenette. So you could add a little bit like maybe some cutlery, just a few things for snacking when you're watching your movies on this level. And then here we have the most beautiful black marble sink that I've personally ever seen. And then on top of it, we have more cabinet space. So I'm assuming here you maybe would have just a few drinks and just some snacks. So this is conveniently made for this space as a bit of a kitchenette. And then we have the same windows tinted still on this end and still double glazed to make it a bit more soundproof. Also from this end, I want to point out that we have the most beautiful view of Westlands. As I look outside the window, I'm able to see Lemark. I'm able to see the Sanlam Towers, I think uh, is that building and the whole development that we have um, the GTC development is also still within my view. So from this level, we are not even at the topmost level and we already have a beautiful view of the outside and of Westlands. That's a plus. Everyone likes a good view. So yeah, that's it for this side. Let's go into one of the bedrooms. This is the first bedroom that we're going to see in this house. This is one of the smaller rooms. So we have the same uh, finishes with the lights and everything, but the only difference in this room is that they went with bamboo flooring. The size of the rooms is quite spacious. This would be probably your headboard on this end. This side is where your TV would be. So we have plenty of sockets and it also came cable ready. On that end of the bedroom, we have a walk-in closet and on this side, we have the bathroom. So let's go into the bathroom first. Considering that this is one of the smaller bedrooms, you guys, I'm really impressed by the size of this bathroom. Um, in this particular room, they went with brown finishes. You'll see that in the other bathrooms, they use different colors, which is also a really nice thing just to give you a variety. So here we have this dark brown backsplash at the back with the marble finish. We have this massive mirror, a white sink with the same um, stainless steel faucets. And then we have, of course, the provisions for your shavers, for your toothbrushes and for your towels as well. Also underneath the sink, we have these um, little shelves that you can use, of course, as extra storage. And then on this side, we have the wash closet and the awning windows at the top that is really big and um, wide set, which means you won't have so much buildup of steam as you take your shower because of the size of that window. And then as you come into the bathroom, I mean into the shower cubicle, we have the same marble finish, the same brown, light brown marble finish that we have going on throughout the bathroom, which is really nice. It feels nice and warm and inviting. So we have the massive shower head at the top and the rest of the shower provisions aside, um, on the side of it. And then they went ahead and added for you a little bit of a nook where you can add your shampoos and your soaps. Nice extra details. There's also a bit of the same down lights that we've seen throughout the house as well up top. So that's really nice. It's a nice cozy bathroom. We feel it's really inviting you guys. I hope you, I, wish, I hope it translates on camera because the feeling is really um, inviting in here. So yeah, that's it for the bathroom. Let's go into the closets now. You guys look at all the space in this walk-in. Look at all the space in this walk-in. It's a really spacious um, closet, especially considering that every single room has one of these even two of them in the master bedroom, but we'll get to that. So we have all this um, cabinetry in black, really nice and chic again. The contrast, the, all the walls in this house are white. So there's definitely a lot of contrast, like hard heating contrast that you get to see um, when they use colors like this with the, with the black. At the bottom, we have the same bamboo flooring, of course, flowing into the bedroom. And then on that side, we have two translucent windows that add in natural light into your room. And you'll see that they've done that throughout the house, which means that every single space in this house is nicely um, naturally lit. And then they added for you this mirror so you don't have to worry about, you know, shopping for mirrors. Everything is ready, basically. And that's one of the things I like about this house is that 
they they went ahead and added these little details that just make moving in so much more easier and you have a lot less to think about so we have this massive mirror on this side and then we have the down lights at the top so that is it for this bedroom let's go to the next one so just to put things into perspective we came from the stairs on this end and then this is one of the bedrooms we have the elevator at the back there and right across from it but with not exactly right across so on this end here is where we have the second bedroom which is a bit of a bigger one and it's not the master just wanted to point that out because i'm sure someone would be would confuse it for the master but it's not although obviously if you move in you have the option to make it your master and you'll see why i'm insisting on that so this here is the second bedroom quite spacious it has more room it has a lot more features i should be able to see so let's start with the ceiling up top we have a bit of a more intricate design with the gypsum of course we have a beautiful light fixture there and then we also have the same down lights going on all through the bedroom behind me we have this huge spacious balcony that i took shots of during the day so i'll insert those here and you'll be able to see it during i mean in full sunlight we have this beautiful flower detail that they added on the detail of the railing of this balcony and how special is it that they went and made every house have a different um, flower design. That's so cute, really nice, something, um, a detail that made it look more special. So as we go further down the balcony, we have a bit of a plant area where you can add your live plants. And then on the floor, they went ahead and added for every single house this four grass carpeting. So again, like I said, the house is really moving ready. It's just about you and your bags, basically, coming into this house. And then we have the same windows. We have plenty of windows, by the way, that allow in a lot of natural light. So you guys will be able to see that with these clips that I'm inserting here. And then on this end, let's go into the bathroom and the closet. So already, I'm sure you've been able to spot a place in the room where you could have your dresser. But the developer was like, no, you know what? I'll go ahead and put a, and build in a dresser for you. So we have this space here that will be your dresser. We have the massive mirror on that side. And right across from it, we have the closet. And then I'll come into the bathroom first and then we can go into the closet as the last space. So this is the bathroom to this massive bedroom that I'm calling the alternative master let's call it that for today because this could definitely be your master bedroom on this end we have the double sinks I, again with the contrast of the black and white looking really chic so we have the black granite countertops and then we have this massive mirror at the back that is so huge <laughs> it makes this bathroom looks look twice its size and already it's a big enough bathroom so that's definitely a good thing we have two large awning windows at the back there that allow in a lot of air and a lot of light like i said i wasn't um uh, i wasn't like exaggerating when i said that every single part of this house is nicely naturally lit this is just proof it's already evening so you might not be able to see that but just the size of them shows you how much light would be able to come in through those windows and then on this side we have this massive shower cubicle we have a bit of a contrast uh, at the bottom they created a moment as you walk into the bathroom which is really cute and then we have this uh, stainless steel shower heads just the same finishes we saw in the other bathroom but they went ahead and added for you a bit of a provision there for your shampoos and your soaps with that corner thing <laughs> over there and then on this side we have the wash closet as well as the beautiful stainless steel fixtures all throughout the bathroom i also wanted to point out this door just the same one that we saw downstairs so we have a bit of the translucent glass inlay and then we have the mahogany mahogany um finish to with the frame of the door and then now let's walk into the closet that is right beside that bathroom so we have this closet it's basically the same as the other one in the other room but the only difference is that in in this particular one we have these um, translucent windows that I had tried to show you guys in that other side. We have them on this side. We have four of them, which means, again, so much light comes into this side of your house. We have the same black cabinetry on this end and the bamboo flooring, of course, 
has been maintained throughout all the bedrooms. So that's it for this bedroom and this level of the house. Now let's go upstairs where we'll be able to go through the master and the other fourth bedroom. We're on the final level of the house now and we have basically another TV room on this level but this could be exclusively for the, for the master um, suite if you would like to have it like that. The windows here will have a beautiful um, view of Westlands like we saw from the level below but basically everything is pretty much the same so we have the same sink and the same cabinetry going on on that side. The only thing that you'll be able to spot that's a little bit different on this end is that we have this um, provision for a moment with the chandelier. So this one's, I mean, this particular uh, furnishing went with a bit of a smaller one, but of course you can come in and add your own touch. I can picture a whole drop-down chandelier with crystal lights and all of that. It can definitely become a whole special moment here. And then maybe you could add some paint rocks on the walls. I hope you guys can see these things as we are going along uh, to be able to visualize it and make it your own space. So um, we'll walk in further into the second bedroom, which is pretty much the same as the first one that I showed you downstairs. So we won't go into too much of it, but I'll show you the bathroom, which is a little bit different. So again, like I said, the bedrooms are pretty much the same. So we have this, the same wooden flooring, the same gypsum ceilings, the same drop lights. Everything is pretty much identical aside from this beautiful bathroom that we have here. So this bathroom, like I told you guys earlier, is a little bit different in terms of the tiling that they used. So this time they went with a completely beige look and the only difference would be this mosaic backsplash here and also the black granite countertops. So we have the same white sinks, the same provisions for your shavers, the same size mirror at the back. And then we have the wash closet on this end. And then as we go further into the bathroom, again, we are met by the shower cubicle. This time the shower head is on the opposite side. Just a bit of a switch up. I don't know why they did that, but it still works. Then we have the same sized awning windows at the back. And everything else is pretty much the same as downstairs, but I really like the beige on these walls. It's really warm and inviting, just like the other bathroom. But um, I don't know why I prefer this one. You guys let me know in the comments which one you prefer. This one or the one downstairs. If you can't remember which one, obviously go back and see which one you like. Then let me know in the comments. So this is the master bedroom, you guys. It's quite spacious, as you can see. Definitely a lot of space. So I'll start, um, I'll jump right in and point out a few of the details that we have here. Already, I can spot around 10 sockets all around the bedroom, which is definitely a plus. And also the detailing on the ceiling with the gypsum, with the gypsum design is a bit more detailed here with the whole head, with this whole situation here. I don't know if this is, this would not be the headboard, but we have this gypsum design at the top. And also the developer was gracious enough to go ahead and install air conditioning for this particular bedroom. So all the bedrooms, all the master bedrooms in this development have the AC already installed. We have the snake lights and the same down lights going on at the bottom. This end of the room is where you'd have your television. So there's a lot of sockets and it also comes cable ready. And then your headboard would be here, which also has provisions for sockets, like I said. Plenty of socket space means that you can play around with lighting and of course you can, um, it's convenient obviously for your phones and all your electronics. And then as we go down this room, on this end we have two closets, his and hers. By the way, I forgot to point out that these doors are openable both ways. They open both ways. So you can have them either open towards the outside or the inside. And then as we come in, you'll find that the, car, the, the cabinet space here is a lot more. We have the same down lights. We have the same translucent windows that let in a lot of natural light, as you guys can see here. There's plenty of cabinet space. Again, the black and white contrast, pretty fabulous, pretty amazing with the bamboo. Um, flooring just as we had seen in the waterhouse before then as you come this way we'll go into the master bathroom so this is a master bathroom and oh my god you guys look at all this room that we have we have the same oh wait no this is actually a different type of tile definitely stunning a beautiful beige with some I don't know if it's is it I don't know if this is marble finish but it definitely looks 
in that line of the marble finish. And then on this side, we have this beautiful Mazeras um, backsplash. And then I really like that they went with this maroon granite countertop just to give it a pop of color. And then we have the double sink and the massive mirror, just like the one we saw downstairs. Also something special about this bathroom is this gorgeous jacuzzi tub. But then on this side, we have the closet, uh, the wash closet, and just as big as a shower cubicle as the one that we saw downstairs. If you guys will notice that they picked the same granite um, color, pop of color, and they added it on a little bit of the surfaces here, like at the bottom of that shower cubicle, and then also on this uh, window panes over here. So we have the same awning windows at the top. Definitely a gorgeous bathroom here, and everything has been catered for you. The same storage space at the bottom. Just every single detail that we've seen throughout the house has been maintained all through this development. So that's it for this video today, guys. Don't forget to click the subscribe button. I'll leave our contact details below so you can call us for a viewing if you're interested. If you're interested in this and other luxury properties within Nairobi, we have plenty that we've listed on our Instagram pages and also um, across all our social media platforms. So make sure you follow us across every social media platform so that you can get notified when we have new properties that we've listed. Also subscribe to this channel and don't forget to click the notification bell button. We will see you on the next one.